Pulling up at daybreak I could hear the grinding sound And the seagulls greeted morning As my two pedals spun around To the boathouse on Fort Frederick At the end of Orkin Drive Run to chase the waves rolling in Watch that bridge left to the sky It's just a span across the water Stealing concrete mounted high But it stood up to the winter wind And watched the years slip slowly by Looking back it seemed amazing Through a child's eyes big and wide At night I'd see me in my dreams Laying on the other side Well the warning lights were flashing And the buzzer made a sound And the counterways were rolling out And the roadblocks coming down And it seemed to take forever to the silent stony go Everything I wanted right before my eyes Is waiting on the Jersey side Lead you around September When the circus came to town Past the arcade by the circle where the Ferris wheel spun round To the ball field on Fort Lewis At the foot of Castle Hill Time can make a man forget it all But for me the time stood still Came home once for a visit After being gone too long And as I crest the bit at midnight I could see it standing strong Like a beacon in the darkness That you could count on all along Rumbling beneath my tires Let me know I made it home This world makes way for progress And the new replaces old Change is the only constant But my grandkids will Told. Our warning light was flashing And the buzzer made it sound Now the waves were rolling out The roadblocks once came down How it took forever Till the silence told me go I could see it all there When I closed my eyes Waiting on the jerk side I'm waiting on the jersey side Get me to the other side I'm waiting on the jersey side It's been more than half a century since the Sir Ambrose Shea lift bridge officially opened, connecting Newfoundland and Labrador communities of Placentia and Jersey Side. The bridge was designed to span the Placentia Gut, a channel of water with tides that change direction every eight and a half hours. The tides themselves can attain speeds of up to nine knots. The center span of the Sir Ambrose Shea lift bridge raised on an average of 2,500 times each year. It comes as no surprise that the provincial government's Department of Transportation and Works was forced in 2011 to tender the construction of a new lift bridge that would replace the aging structure. A $40.6 million contract was eventually awarded in March of 2013 to H.J. O'Connell Construction Limited, a joint venture between a division of Bird Construction Incorporated and Vancouver Pile Driving Limited.
In total, the new bridge will use 9,920 meters of pipe piling, 2,200 meters of sheet pile for the coffer dams, 4,100 cubic meters of concrete, and 1,000 tons of structural steel. Using an unusual design for its time, the Sir Ambroche lift bridge consists of two approach spans and one central vertical lift span. Each measures 30 meters in length. The center vertical span, which can be raised from a clearance of 3 meters to a height of 21 meters in one and a half minutes, weighs over 100 tons.